Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Car Mechanic Simulator VR video. Last time we completely turned this car around, it looked something sort of like that thing, and we um, got rid of the rust, got rid of all the junk components, put in a beefy engine, and uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty much got all new components now. All it's missing are the body panels, interior stuff, uh, you know. The stuff to make it look good. Right now it runs good, but it doesn't exactly look good. I mean, the parts look good, but um, it's not got no wheels on it or anything. So we're going to go ahead and work on that, I think. Yeah, everything is in except for the fuel pump. We did not put that in. And do we have one? We do have one. Look at that. So there it goes. So I think now that's all the parts in the car except for this exhaust. Because, um, yeah, the game was being real buggy last time at the end of last episode, which is why we stopped it. My plan was to get this whole thing done. Uh, but yeah, the game was getting a little bit buggy. I think we probably could have done it if we had the engine pre-built. The engine did take a lot of our time. So I think for that one, we might actually work on its engine today. Because then we can get it all knocked out in one video. And I think that would be perfect. This isn't, this isn't gonna take that much longer to do. Um, just to get the rest of these front drive axles in here. I think that sounds like the plan. Anyway, front drive axle seat. There it goes. Alrighty, so then we'll just worry about the wheels. I don't, I'm not really sure what size or whatever we want for those. I pretty much threw everything out that this car used to have. Oh, we should get the gearbox, though. That would be important. Okay, yeah, let's get the gearbox. Uh, bam, 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 bam. And gearbox. Uh, let's just say we have it, maybe? We might just happen to happen to have a 4x4 gearbox lying around somewhere. We had a clutch plate lying around somewhere that I had no idea we had. Noted. I say noted, but I'm gonna forget next episode. And I'll be like, wow, look, we had a clutch plate lying around somewhere. I had no idea about that. But look, we do have a gearbox i4. And then the starter, that's in the engine bay. So we can go ahead and drop this whole thing down. Hopefully it won't need to go that high again. Yeah, we can just go ahead and get your starter in there bam that is that done and done and done done real good and stuff uh yeah let's get the wheels so what car is this this is a i don't think we'll find any special rooms but let's just take a look katagiri katsumoto okay so if we see like any katsumoto rims then we know those are the ones that we should use I don't know, i'm thinking probably one of these retro ones would look good typhoon roll it tbx Maybe not retro, maybe modern? These modern 04Bs kind of look cool. We'll get four of them, size 16. Yeah, I think those would look pretty cool. And then we'll get, shot, let's see. Do we have like slicks? No, we don't. Oh yeah, we do have slick tires. Look at that. Those will be great. Size 16, four, and we'll up that a little bit. We'll see what those look like. Of course, we have all different types of rims. And there's the ones that we bought. So those ones. We have a bunch of vintage tires. Do we buy those specifically for this? I'm not sure. Yeah, they got a bigger profile on them too. We'll test it? But that does seem about perfect. How big is that compared to what you had? To be honest, we might have wanted 14 inch rims because this is a very... Eh. No, that, that'll fit. A little skinny. A little skinny, but... I mean, we could get some chunkier wheels for the back. Let's crank that up to like 225. So like these could be the skinny ones in the front, and then we got the big ones in the back. I think that's usually how you do it. Yeah, that's a lot chunkier. That's like double the width. Right, you got the bigger tires in the back for the extra grip, and then we'll just put the skinny ones on the front. It'll be fine. In they go. Is that slightly too big? I think that's, is that bigger than that one? Yeah, slightly. Very slightly. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of tolerance in there, let's just be honest. Yeah, hmm. You know, these ones are definitely smaller. Those were a 55 radius. Pretty sure these were also 55 radius, hold up. Why are you so much thicker? Why don't you come off? Game, are you already being broken with me? And we haven't even gotten like five minutes into the video yet? 
reset a station. That's totally fine. Okay, so are the tires there or are the tires gone? We have no tires. Okay, yeah, so it just deleted the items. That's cool, that's cool. Freaking dude. Freaking dude. Okay, so we'll just put these on these slicks. I'm gonna call that a day. Because the game wanted to delete our old tires. Yeah, the game didn't like them, apparently. I mean, I thought it looked cool, but I just, yeah, they were a little too wide. They were, like, clipping. I don't want, like, my tires to clip. But I guess, in reality, it's probably not a big deal, but I don't know. To me, it is. To me, it's a pretty gosh darn big deal. Which, uh, let's see if I can't. <sighs> wow, I am strong if I use two hands. One-handed. I can do that. Two hands. Throw this thing a freaking across the universe. I mean, I guess if I can lift a tire up with one hand, I can chuck it with two. I guess understandable. I mean, to be fair, there's really not a lot of room in there, so I guess the skinny tires do work. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and it looks wider because we do have the external tread, so that counts. That counts for something, I guess. I freaked that up, but that doesn't matter. Alright, let's get you down all the way on your new tires that look very good. Maybe you're nice and low. Yeah, no, I think it looks good. Alright, let's go ahead and get your body panels. I guess we'll go ahead and move you over to the, um, just the garage entrance, because that just makes life easier when we're doing body panel stuff. Because otherwise the lift gets in the way, and it's a big ordeal. So yeah, we'll just move you over here. Katagiri, Katsumoto, and we pretty much need everything. Preferably the weight-reduced parts, but I, it's not a thing in this game. I mean, te technically it is, but just not in the VR version. Like, we have, um, Community Care Body. Which is where you'd be able to get, like, um, you know, special cut hoods and stuff, but that's... Nothing's loading up in there, so... The VR version just doesn't have it for some reason. Not sure why, but... Whatever. That on there. Nevada plate. Ooh. I mean, nothing wrong with Nevada, but... Look how rusted to bits it is. You don't need that negativity in your life. Everything's gonna be great. Oh yeah, looking fresh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that window. Oh yeah. That is the car. Now we just... This place is already used. Who's hanging out in there? Who's hanging out in there? There's something in there. There's something in there. What's in here? What's hanging out in here? Oh! That's where you went, you cheeky bugger. I remember I said last time we lost this car. <laughs> no, we didn't lose it. It just... It went in... It decided it wanted to go to the paint booth early. <laughs> uh, fun. So yeah, now we can get you in the paint shop. Now that it isn't being taken up by car I thought I lost. That's always nice. When you know you didn't lose a car from a weird glitch. And doopy doo. I don't need that. I, I didn't want to grab those. Oh yeah, it's like that. Alrighty, so set factory, set current. I mean, it's, it's factory colors. That's what it is. And then the livery. That's the one it had. Oh yeah, that looks... Why am I over here now? Okay, so that's what it had at the junkyard. 187, Katsumoto. That's pretty sweet. Alrighty, and then what was the other... What were the other liveries? Sharkmouth. <laughs> that's pretty... Okay. Sharkmouth. And then none. Oh yeah, we'll go for this one. Do we go for Metallic or do we go for Matt? I do... I do honestly like the pearl. Ooh, the chameleon's a bit much. Yeah, we'll go with the pearl. There we go. Nice. I am stuck in a thing. Alrighty. Now let's just go ahead and move you back to the parking. No, parking. Gosh, why are... Why are things so difficult today? <sighs> Hi there. Uh, but... I can do it. Connoisseur, silver, listen to a thousand songs. I do, I, do, I do jam out occasionally. But yeah, imagine getting jump scared by a notification. Mm, gonna be me. Katsumoto, do we have any bench custom? Okay, let's just search. Okay. I think the black leather bench will probably suit the best. We need whatever the racing seat is. Yeah, we'll get two of those. And then what's the... Coolest steering wheel you guys got. Ooh, 11 looks pretty neat with the wood. I and mean, we don't really have any wood trim inside there, so wood doesn't really make too much sense. Six? I do like six. 
Is anything beating six for me? Not really. Alrighty. Again, I always put racing seats in here. I never, I never turn these into normal cars, do I? They're all, they're always dri racing or drifting or something of the sort. But there it is, our Tokyo Drifto. Can't really read it, but it says Deja Vu, and it's actually a Chinese plate because we don't actually have a Japanese plates in this game, surprisingly. And also, the dark plates have dark text on them, so it's really hard to see, but it does say deja vu, I promise. And yeah, they're Chinese plates because, um, it's close enough, right? Yeah, looks mean. City map. Abandoned airport. Oh, that'd probably be important, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, oil's still over here. Bleep doop. How high can we go from? And spill it all over the engine in the process? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Perfect. Now we can go. Actually, I'm curious. If I click on this and click this one. Ah, yes, there is an exhaust manifold missing from the car. Our biggest problem is the missing exhaust manifold. Oh no, there's no exhaust manifold. The car will never run. Actually, I think that's one of the things you probably could remove and it would still be fine. It'd probably sound pretty cool, too. I mean, probably not for too long without the exhaust manifold. I mean, people have, you know, straight pipe their thing, but without the exhaust manifold, it would be like, yeah, run it for a little bit because you might accidentally, like, heat up something, and probably all that exhaust fumes in the engine bay is probably not a good idea either, so. But the car would still run. Hey, look, it's connected to my phone. That's fun. Good to know that the uh, entertainment system still works as we drift, as we do our very fun, very necessary... Deja vu, I've just been in this place before, higher on the street, and I know there's a time to go oh, on a new, and the search is a mystery. I forget the rest of the words. Yeah! Now, if only we could get an external camera view, that'd be really cool. I mean, I can kind of get an external camera view, but my room's not big enough for a full external view. Oh, bang. And just like that, we've damaged the new car. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't quite slide like you'd expect a, like a, if you just initiated a drift. But I mean, it is, it is still drifting. Like it is, despite being for, forward drive, I, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like the game's still controlling this like a rear wheel drive. Although maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Because it seems like it's drifting. Although yeah, it does kind of not turn very good at high speed. Not sure about all that. Anyway, let's, um, you know, if interesting that is. All right, let me step over here. And we'll go ahead and clock the wheel over all the way. Yeah, again, I can't quite get it all in one frame. Let's see, what if I go, if I face this way? Yeah, I got more space over here in my room. Okay, so this is about as far away as I can get before I go out of range. And there we go, we can kind of see it. Let her rip. This is like the best external view we'll probably be able to get. Oh. It snapped me back to the car. There we go, we're actually in some burnouts. It does seem like it's coming off the front wheels though. So yeah, probably not the best for drifting. And then you got the tail lights that light up too. Like all this stuff you aren't you aren't you aren't able to see in the uh, the VR version. Because you're locked into first person. What if we go in reverse? Oh there we go. Yeah. <laughs> it drifts better in reverse, yep. I guess that's to be expected. Oh yeah, we can go really far away. Hold up. It's kind of disorientating though. Walking around like this, okay. So let's let's aim the wheel this way. Cause what I can do is just walk back and forth in my room. So like if I just aim so okay, so I'm gonna aim to walk this way. And we're gonna aim walking this way. So I'm looking this way, we're walking this way, okay, walk you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk. Okay, and then I will turn around, but then turn this around. So I'm basically walking back and forth in my room, but the more I do this, the further away I get. Keep looking away from the car, keep walking, turn around, there we go. Oh yeah, you can really see the deja vu plate now. Oh, there we go. Now I have no steering or any control of the car, but you know, it's fun. Yeah, I wish I could steer it like this. This would be this would be cool. But yeah, no, no, we have no steering. We're redlining in reverse. It sounds like. Yeah, this might be the thumbnail though. Wobble 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 wobble. Okay. 
Let's start. Let's start walking back towards it. It's so disorientating. Uh, yep, that was a wall. Yep, see that's the hard part. Is accidentally walking into walls. Okay, let's head back. No exit. Return to garage. There. Alrighty. Beautiful. So, <laughs> a car drive and a workout. Would you look at that? All right, I guess we can just leave you here. What we're gonna go ahead and do though is we'll go ahead and work on your engine, which is a piece of trash, so we won't worry about what's in you. But we're gonna go ahead and look at what you can have. So, I don't think we can have the um, V8 DOHC turbocharger. I think it's the only one we can make. The Coyote, Boss, Rear Wheel Drive, and AXK, I think are all D are DLC engines. So I think the only engine you can have is the over is a supercharged V8. Alrighty, so let's just search V8 and we'll see what parts we have. This is one thing we failed to do with the other thing. We have exhaust pipes. Okay, so we won't worry about those. We got camshafts for an overhead valve. Okay, that's probably not going to help too much. Overhead valve. We got engine head covers. Okay, okay. Carburetors, probably not going to help. OHV, OHV. Supercharger belt. Okay, we have that. We have the gearbox. We have the oil filter. We got the timing belt. And a camshaft. And a supercharger. And okay, so we got a couple things. Oh, we can do the DUHC AXK. 403 horsepower. Yeah, the supercharger is just the most horsepower. But yeah, we can't do the boss or the super. It's just not. Yeah, the AXK is the only other one we can do. I think that's just the standard V8, isn't it? Yeah, that's just the standard V8. Okay, so we could downgrade it, but we'll supercharge it. Alrighty, let's see. So we'll want a crankshaft. I think we want one camshaft. I might regret that, but we're going to buy it anyway. Engine heads, I didn't see those. By those, I saw covers, so we won't worry about those. Exhaust manifolds, didn't see those. We had plenty of exhaust pipe, we had a gearbox. Ignition wires for the V8, yeah, I didn't see that. I don't know if we actually need the BV8, I think that's, we get the supercharger. And we had the supercharger intake. Yeah, and we had the supercharger belt already. Time and chains, time and cover, water pump. Alrighty, and then just the normal engine things like pistons. We'll need eight of them. Camshaft caps. I'm gonna get 12. Crankshaft bearing caps. I'm gonna get three. Because there's one there, one there, one there. Rod caps. Gonna get eight of them. Because guess how many pistons we have? So, we'll see how far that gets us. Put the pistronies in. Put the pistronies in. They wanna be in the engine. Bam. Bam. Shabamity lamb. I don't know how I forgot the oil pan. I guess I thought I had one. Alrighty, and then we'll go ahead and flip this over. Power steering. Beautiful. Engine head. Look at that. We knew we needed those. Oh, because it's a dual over here. Okay, we'll need four camshafts. Or because it's a V engine. Kind of forgot it's a V engine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we just need two camshafts. No, we'll need double that. Okay, so we'll just focus on one side for now. Because I forgot to get spark plugs anyway. Yeah, because I bought two. We had one plus quality, and then I got another one. Oh, I guess it doesn't need uh, bearing caps. Oh, well, I guess we'll use them eventually at some point, yeah. Don't have any of those, so let's get those. Spark plugs. And the fuely filter. Bam. Bam! Supercharge it. There it is. Look how super and charged it is. Fuel rail DIs, okay. That stands for direct injection, which means the fuel is squirted right into the chamber. What? Are these? Oh, they're camshaft V8s. I just bought regular camshafts. They're different, I promise. Put the sparky boys in their hole. Spark. Keep it when it goes in the hole. Okay, there we go. No matching parts, of course. Because these are the A and B ones. I think we got the wrong ones. At least we have idler rollers. We'll never run out of idler rollers. I say is we'll probably run out of idler rollers. 
Actually, probably not on this job. We'll probably have just enough for this job, and then we'll have to get more idler rollers. Look at that. Ain't that amazing. Ain't that a beautiful thing. Crankshaft pulley. And then we can put on the first belt, which is the serpentine one. Or the supercharger one, if I could press it on there. There we go. Water pump pulley. Belt tensioner. And then serpentine belt A. And then another idler roller. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so just the fuel reel DI. So we have that. A plus four quality one at that. Alrighty, and just the two engine head covers. Yeah, not the C and the D, but the A and the B. I don't know what the C and the D are for. Maybe those are for the other engine? The other V8? Not sure. Oh yeah, and this one has ignition coils. This is a bit more modern of an engine. We bought the wires, it actually just needs a bunch of coils. Oh, we have one cover. Engine head cover B. Well, for the most part, we did a okay job of reducing the stock that we had already. And we did that quite fast, honestly. I'll be honest with you guys, I was not expecting to get this engine built this fast. That. We knocked that out. Where's just the coils cover? There it is. And then... So we don't forget. We'll just buy the flywheel, the plate, and that. So that way, next episode, I'm not, you know, I don't make them the mistake that I said I was going to make. Because, yeah, we could put the clutch flywheel and all that on the engine now, but I don't really like doing that. I mean, we could, to be honest, because we're going to hold on to this for a little bit before it actually goes in the car. We could. Because, like, re realistically, like, at least to me, it doesn't make sense, because, it's, look, it's, we're going into, like, the, the engine mount here. Like, the flywheel's clipping into it, but it's, you know, it's whatever. We have the clutch plate on hand. We'll just go ahead and fill all this stuff out. That way, once we get the engine in the car, all we have to do is just attach the gearbox to it, and it'll be good. Problem is, I keep on touching the handle to rotate the engine, when that's not what I mean to do. Bam. Alrighty. Engine done. Kushfoink. We'll just go ahead and take that, put it in our pocket, and, uh, yeah, call it a day. So yeah, next time we'll work on restoring you, and once we, you know, get all this junk out of here, we'll go ahead and put the fresh engine in, and that should hopefully look pretty nice. We'll also polish everything up as well. Do we have any? No, I don't think we really, you know, we haven't really gained any experience because we haven't really been doing any orders. Yeah, we need to get to level 35 if we want to, like, repair body parts, which, to be honest, I don't really know if I care that much about all this stuff. Like, sure, repair body parts... 50% off parking levels, 50% off barnyard, junkyard trips, lucky, yeah. I mean, this is kind of where I usually, you know, do a bunch of restorations and then end the game, so... I don't know. To be honest, though, we, we really haven't finished the story yet. So maybe we'll put a hold on you and we'll just uh, do this uh, Smith 1500 next time. Because, yeah, we're, we're, st we're still progressing through the story. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new videos, have a great day, rest of your day. Next time we'll be doing that story order, and then... Maybe after that, we'll go ahead and restore this piece of junk. See you guys then. Goodbye for now.